Hey y'all, it's Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and the Eurovision Rehearsals Roundup Part 2 just dropped. Only five countries from the second semifinal rehearsed today for the second time, therefore we get the 30 as seen on TV snippets, so I'll react to all five of them, and share my thoughts of course and i don't know what to expect well i do kind of know what to expect because i saw the pictures but i wanted to see who will impress me i'm particularly interested in denmark and armenia because their visuals looked very promising in particular so um i'll jump right into it denmark so they're not using the robot effect i knew they were going to allow that of course, now you can actually hear his vocals. Screen, okay, lots of green, I love that part. Very much so, the staging. We didn't see the cool effect though that I was hoping for. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, here's the thing, I um, wish you would have seen more of the, the door thing, the effect that they have in the beginning. We didn't get that. Uh, based on the pictures, I do love the green. Not a lot of green used in this day and age at, on the Eurovision stage, especially not this year where everything is black and red and white. Um, so this looks really, really good. I love the effect. It's so cute. He looks great. We did get that special effect sound in the chorus because I didn't think they were going to allow it. And maybe during the first part of it, but here you could see there were some weaknesses in terms of vocals, but... It's a rehearsal. It's a rehearsal. So we shall see. We shall see. All right. Next up is Armenia. Oi. Oi. I knew it. It's going to look good. She sings it well. Very fragile. That's such a cool depth that it adds this floor. Oh, okay. Armenia. Da, this is heaven. I, this will only, we only, was this 30 seconds? It felt like two, two seconds. Absolutely mesmerizing. This is what you do. This looks amazing. Now, I wish we would have seen the other part. I wanted to really see my, this part is the really pretty part. And I'm just curious how she's going to bring in the angry bell sound effect there when she starts rapping. So that's a, still a big question mark in my mind. But this was beautiful. Absolutely beautifully done, Armenia. <claps> Loved it. Next, Romania. <laughs> he sounds so good his voice is just nice rocky i'm still not sure about the outfit here i just i'm not um but it's his style so i applaud him for that i guess mm-hmm Okay, so I always like the song. I think it's always overlooked, but I understand why people don't like it. It's my kind of genre. I this, The clip itself didn't give us away that much. We know already the outfit I'm still not crazy about. It's more distracting and, you know, but that is a personal taste thing. Um, I I wish we would have seen more the, because we know they have the backdrop with the ladies. We saw it at the very beginning, but I know he shows up as well. So I'm more curious how they're going to utilize that. So on this clip, there's not much to add, right? It sounded good. He sounded great. That is always his thing that, and it's a little song, but he has a mighty voice. At the same time, I just don't know if this clip really does much to change anyone's mind, but we shall see. Anyways, Estonia. This is pretty. Kind of what I envisioned we saw in the pictures. The voice is just flawless. It feels a little empty though, right? So yeah, so that's the one thing I will say. So when I saw this, it uh, felt a little empty because it's just her walking around on stage. So the big stage makes a little like, oh, okay. 
she sounded so amazing and the blue watery type you know totally goes with the theme and the feel of the song so i think staging wise this is going to look really really nice we didn't see the piano really much um yeah it's really just it felt a little empty and one of the things also that stood out to me was and that is just me and that's a pet peeve of mine there were these very hand gestures were so over rehearsed like da -da, da -da. and that is just usually not for me um sometimes it works when it's done well but here it felt a little wooden to me i think but it still looks nice and we got one more right belgium Oh, we got pink fans. This is a very camp, very uh, LGBT inspired song. Here we are. He sounds good. He is fun and they're gonna have so much fun, uh, especially when the energy comes in. We got a little bit of pink there, black and white, very much for the street version. And this comes down to personal taste. I think he sounded good. And if you into that kind of staging, you will love it. It's not my t to my taste. It needs to be done right. It felt a little put on to me, but that is just me. At the same time, if you love the song, I think the staging seems appropriate because it's very 90s throwback. And I think they capture that really, really well. So yeah, this is um, uh, an interesting group and there were some surprises there. I will say, let's go for them without um, watching them again. So clearly my biggest, best, biggest, first slash second impression <laughs> um, is definitely Armenia. This looks so pretty. Oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. I wanna see the whole three minutes. I have to wait until next Wednesday because you know we get to see it a little earlier the press. But man, that was breathtakingly beautiful. That is how you really come up with something creative and amazing. Like when that water thing, do good. It, it, absolutely amazing. So I cannot praise this little snippet enough. That was beautifully done and definitely uh, impressed me the most. I thought I was going to like it, but I liked it even more than I thought. The other ones all look good. With Denmark, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see more of the actual staging with the effect because the beginning is so important, uh, I think, to the song. At that point where he said at that point in the song, just doesn't feel as important or relevant. Um, so um, I withhold final judgment on that. Vocally was not quite as strong, but we'll see uh, if that's going to be improved. And Alika and uh, Theodore um, from Estonia and Romania, they did just fantastic, very strong vocals. Same for Gustav, all three of them, vocally no issues whatsoever. The stagings all looked fine to me from my scene, I think. Estonia has, to me so far, the second best impressive performance, just because it looked so pretty. Besides, you know, the song, the staging felt very empty when she was walking around, and the hands gestures out. But that's, again, personal pet peeve, not necessarily fair to just, you know, hold that against her. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, the stagings all look really good, and it's hard to judge them in its fullest just by looking at the 30-second snippet. But I definitely want to see from Armenia. Denmark didn't give me much to go on, so I need to more, more on that and yeah the other ones seem all exactly kind of what i expected they lo to look like based on the pictures as well as the 15 second clip from tiktok who was your biggest surprise or did one of the ones that i pointed out worked better for you than for me or vice versa leave your thoughts below in the comment section i would love to hear from you i'll see you all soon because at some point the tiktoks for the big five plus host will drop and then we can talk about them as well so see you in the next video.